Canadian Club Brand Center. Canadian Club is sold in over 165 countries around the world. Our founding father founded the distillery in 1858, and that brought an awful lot of business to the local area. Hiram Walker himself, with all of his uh, success at the distillery, he also opened up a lot of businesses. He was very, very influential, and you know, you can really say that the beginning of, of Windsor's wealth started with Hiram Walker. The building itself was a copy of a palace that Hiram Walker had visited with his family in 1890 in Florence, Italy. So he replicated it. Built in 1894, cost $100,000, took two years to build. We opened the doors to the public in 2001 and happy to say today we're probably close to 15,000 visitors a year. We are boutique, so we have a lot of these little rooms. Uh, we have, you know, our dining room is the largest. We have the Walkerville room. We have conference rooms throughout the building. So if there's a huge conference in the city of Windsor, we get the, uh, the VIPs the very first night and they do their welcome reception there. So, you know, they want to be in this glory, this, this grandeur. So wherever they need me, wherever they want me to talk about or, or uh, present the brand, uh, I'm there. What's most important uh, for the sale of Canadian Club whiskies is liquor to lips. And once the person gets that liquor to their lips, it's something that, uh, you know, they, they're going to go out and they're going to buy themselves. Canadian Club is still made in the very same spot, now in its 158th year. Every drop of CC Premium sold uh, around the world is still manufactured in age right here in Windsor, Ontario. The Iron Kettle Bed and Breakfast. The Iron Kettle is a 4,200 square foot home that was built in 1876. And then 2009, a couple took it over and uh, rebranded it and gutted it and renovated it to the state that it's in now. My wife and I spent our wedding night there as guests. When we left there, we you know, loved the idea of a small country business like that. You know, a few months later, found out it was for sale. Six months after, we moved in. The best part about the bed and breakfast, it's that it's a, a beautiful red brick home. It's been preserved, so all the hardwood floors, the staircase, the doors, the trim, is pretty well original to 1876. We have some rooms that have exposed bricks, so that has a lot of character. Brides love that for their wedding dresses and that. So just those features alone, you know, it brings out a lot of character. The style of it is something that's very appealing. It's very trendy now to have, you know, barn wood and stuff, but little do we know that it's been trendy in our home for 140 years. <laughs> Since I'm a chef, I, we brought another element to the business and we create dinner packages so that we can bring people in and literally just take care of them and create an experience for the whole time that they're with us. We have a bed and breakfast and we run it like a bed and breakfast but we treat it like a hotel. People can feel at home, but also in a professional space. And they leave with the experience that we've given them, and then they come back. Rochester Place Golf Club and Resort. It was always a dream of ours to actually purchase Rochester Place and, and kind of rebrand it and, and, and just make it our own. When I say we, it's me, my brother and I. We actually did a full, construction interior renovation of the entire facility. Rebranding the restaurant to Parkside Grill. Outside, uh, boasting probably one of the nicest patios in Windsor-Essex County, overlooking the golf course with fire pits, water features, full golf course renovation. We're doing really a reconstruction of different holes, a lot of shaping grading, a lot of contouring. On the resort side, really had a different vision of getting away from what Campgrounds are really blubbed as. We've actually now taken the entire property and it's gated entry only, you know, done a full revamp of all the pool area, splash pad for the kids, campground, playground. What we're really moving towards in our 2016 plan and beyond is developing stay in plays where, you know, you can come there and then actually stay a weekend, play golf, dine at the restaurant having activities that are, you know, out of the canal, out to the lake. Just really, you know, working towards attracting a great clientele to come and visit us. You know, I've got a great team. I've got a great team of advisors that works with us. I've got a great team as far as management across all the companies. It's a very exciting time for us. A little bit of the payoff for, you know, it's been two and a half short years of really you know, taking it over and rebranding it and, and there's not much of it that's the same. So it's, it's, it's really great to be noticed from our peers.